The Major League All-Star break is upon us, and for Bryan, Ohio native Matt Whistler, he finally has some time to breathe. The 22-year-old was called up to the majors three weeks ago and has stayed with the Braves ever since. We had the chance to catch up with the former tin cap and newest member of the Atlanta Braves pitching staff. Imagine how he must be feeling as he grabs that baseball to get ready to face the Mets. We just kept driving towards Atlanta and then took him out to dinner the Thursday night before. And when we were at the restaurant, the Braves game was on in the restaurant and he was looking at that. And I think that's when it really hit him that he's just, oh my God, you know, I'm going to be pitching there tomorrow night. Again, down with the strikeout is Curtis Granderson as Matt Whistler starts his major league debut. If Matt Whistler was nervous for his Major League debut against the Mets on June 19th, you'd have never known it. The righty went eight innings, giving up just one run to earn the win in his first big league game. I mean, pretty unbelievable to have a start like that, my first one. I yeah, never really expected to do that. You know, using that, you know, knowing I can get guys out at this level, you know, it's big to you know, have a good outing like that. You know, know that I can stay up here, that I'm good enough to be here. Um, just give it a little bit of confidence to take forward. Whistler hasn't stopped since. In five major league starts, he's 3-1 and one with a 3.10 ERA. He's done well. The thing that I like uh, is that he's trusted himself, his mix, and he's slowed the game down. So he's, I'm seeing more focus in him than I've seen in a long time. A philosophy that we had ever since he was 14 uh, is to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Um, and that was a philosophy that a uh, guy from Fort Wayne taught us, Mark De La Garza. As for Fort Wayne, Whistler credits a lot of his early Major League success with the 2012 season he spent with the Tin Caps as a 19-year-old. Yeah, it was a big learning year for me, first year in the pros, you know, being close to home uh, made it a little bit easier, you know, I, um, you know, that year was big for development for my pitching as well, you know, my, my pitching coach, Willie Blair, was really big for me that year, teaching me, you know, he's the one that taught me my slider that I used today, um, you know, getting used to everything. No, it's definitely a big year for me. I really enjoyed that year in Fort Wayne. Having been drafted in the seventh round by the Padres, Matt expected to make his debut this season in San Diego. However, the day before opening day, he was traded to Atlanta, a move that seemed somewhat serendipitous since he spent three years as a kid playing for a team named the Braves in Bryan Little League. They are just people that change, like we've talked about, change their schedules just so they can watch Matt pitch. We have lots of people from Brian that are driving over to Buffalo Wild Wings in Defiance where they show all the major league games to be able to watch him to pitch. So it's just been not just our community, Defiance community and communities around us that are all following Matt and it's just been people that just come up to us that and say stuff to us. It's just amazing. You know, playing with guys like AJ Brzezinski has been around. He's been in the big league since I was like seven years old. You know, just, just being with the guys I guess that are and, you know, just feeling, you know, part of that, feeling like, you know, I'm a, I'm a peer of the you know, guys that have been here for a long time, you know, I'm now part of that. Matt's next start is scheduled for Monday in Atlanta against the L.A. Dodgers.